All right, Shalom. Shalom, Israel. This is the brother of War Bai coming back to you again with another lesson. Uh, before I get started, I'm going to give all glory, honor, and praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who taught me. Peace and blessings to the hopeful and humble elect that is out there doing this work in truth and sincerity across the four corners of the planet Earth, rightly dividing the word of truth and spreading it. As the good news, as the gospel says, to those of us that are scattered abroad. Okay? Uh, Shalom to you, sincere Akwath, that are uh, subscribed to our channel as well. Uh, peace and blessings and salutations to you. And uh, to all that have uh, found this, uh, this epistle and clicked upon it, may it be edifying unto thy soul. Okay? Um, so, today's topic, what I'm going to go into is going to be titled um, and I may title it I may title it something else but the but the topic that I'm going to be speaking about is just the the beam or the moat that is in thine own eye okay because there's been a spirit amongst Israel lately um, of just hypocrisy you know a real hypocritical spirit um, basically saying things and and doing another thing OK, and we know that the, uh, you know, the, the, the scribes and the Sadducees, they did that back in the day. OK, but, you know, uh, those of us that are enlightened and that are a part of this ministry, we know that our nay is supposed to be our nay and our yea is supposed to be our yea. So if you say something, you're supposed to walk, you're supposed to, you know, not just say as say things, but you're supposed to do things also. Just not be a hearer of the word, but a doer also. OK. So hopefully the lesson that I get into, I got some scriptures lined up um, and most high one and it's edifying. OK, so uh, the first um, precept that I'm going to get, of obviously, is going to be Matthew 7. OK, and let's get some understanding on this whole thing. All right. Um, because let's let's just be real, man. You got a lot of you got a lot of so-called um believers a lot of you israelites you so-called negroes latinos and native americans out there that are just running your mouths rampant man you know and you're not checking yourselves first you're not examining yourself you're not examining uh what you got going on but quick to point the finger and, and, and quick to uh point out what somebody else got going on okay you know and a lot of you haven't even been in the truth for more than five minutes There's a lot of you rookies out there man you know, uh, uh, entertaining the matters of affairs that you know not what, okay? You all off in the apostles' business, the elders' business, man. You know, and they're and they're and they're and they're speaking on things that are higher than uh, above your head, but you're just being a parrot, man. You know, repeating what you hear, and 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 have no understanding on the whole matter of things, man. Okay. So let's not be like them, but let's get some understanding. This is Matthew 7, verse 1. All right. It says, judge not that ye not be judged or that ye be judged, that ye be not judged. OK, for what for with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. And with what measure ye meet, it shall be measured to you again. OK, for we know that within our ministry and within the doctrine of Great Millstone. OK. We know that uh, we are set up to be uh, judges, okay, according to the scriptures, all right? And that's just love, man. Whenever you're getting told something or you're, or, 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 or you're you know, you're getting judged, that's judging righteous judgment, okay? That's just basically called love, all right? And so just to get some further edification on that, we're going to come back to Matthew 7, but before I do that, I want to go to Second John. Okay, actually, yeah, I can do Second. I can do Second John. Okay, Second John, the sixth chapter. Okay, and it says, "And this is love, that we walk after His commandments. This is the commandment that, as ye have heard from the beginning, ye shall walk in it." Okay, so. Yes, by showing love to your fellow brethren, to one another, 
you you make sure that they keep the law, statutes, and commandments, man. Okay? Yes, you're supposed to tell them about yourselves. So this is not in any way telling you to be a part of the Christian doctrine, doctrine, excuse me, to where uh, it talks about that uh, you're in that 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 uh, should I say that uh, Tupac spirit? You know, only God can judge me. Okay, and that's not that's not the spirit that we're coming in this afternoon. All right, so I just wanted to make that clear. All right, so let's go back to Matthew seven. All right, and two. It says, for with, judge, for with what judgment ye judge, you shall be judged. And with what measure you meet, it shall be measured to you again. All right. And why beholdest thou mote that is in thy brother's eye, but considereth not or considerest not the beam that is in thine own eye. All right. And there's a lot of you Jakes, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, man. You Israelites that claim to be in the faith. That like to do this, man. You like to get all high, mighty, and proud or over-righteous, man. Like you've never done anything, man. Like you've never fell or like you've never sinned against or transgressed against the Most High, man, and His Son. Okay? And you get out there one time and you get to talking reckless and, and, and don't even understand that the Most High could be looking at you some type of way, man. You have to first... First and foremost, examine yourself and look at your own flaws first before you just get out there and start talking reckless. OK, one, most of the time, most of you Jakes don't even know what the heck you're talking about, man. OK, especially you rookies that ain't even been in the truth for five minutes. You just out there just running your mouth, pretending to act like you know something and you know not what you speak thereof. OK. Being, being being in a real hypocritical spirit, man. And and being a hypocrite is basically being a liar. All right. You best watch yourselves. <laughs> Verse four. OK, actually, I'm going to start at uh, three and it says, and why beholdest the moat that is in thy brother's eye, but considerest not the beam that is in thine own eye or how wilt thou say to thy brother? Let me pull out the mote of thine eye, and behold, a beam is in thy own eye. Okay? And a lot of you, I'm telling you, a lot of you do that, man. You're guilty. And you don't even realize it. You'll get out there one time saying some things, speaking on a matter that you know nothing about. Or you may know something about it, but what are you doing in your daily life, man? Okay? What are you doing at, at, at your liberties? You might be doing some of the same things or, or, or worse that can get called to the carpet, man. Because what Jake don't understand is the most high sees everything, man. OK, the Lord sees every single thing. All right. What's done in the dark will be brought to the light. OK. What you do in secret will be shunned on the will be brought out upon the rooftops, man. Your nakedness will get uncovered. You think that the Lord can't see what you're doing. All right. So be very careful before you open your mouth against somebody that the Lord is dealing with. Or that they may be showing judge that the Lord may be showing judgment upon. OK. Because one thing that a lot of Jakes forget, every single person that has not been delivered upon a chariot out of this place is all worthy of punishment whether it, from the top to the bottom it doesn't matter who you are because the lord is not a respecter of persons man okay verse five thou hypocrite first cast out the beam out of thine own eye and then shalt thou see clearly to cast out the mote out of thy brother's eye man okay everybody screws up Everybody. But the message, therefore, is to get yourself together, get corrected, get understanding, learn the lesson so that you can apply the knowledge that you have just learned. OK, you can help somebody else not step in that or fall into that trap or that snare that you just fell into. That's what it's all about. OK, but you got a lot of you got a lot of these. These these uh 
self-starter kit Israelites that'll just get out there and just speak on things that they have no idea what they're talking about, man. Okay? Or they may have an idea, but they don't have the, 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 the true knowledge, wisdom, and understanding to be able to deal with it right, man. You don't have the experience. You don't got the answers, Sway. Okay? Let's go to the book of James real quick. All right. We're going to go to James, the first chapter, and we're going to start at verse five. Actually, verse four. OK, but let patience have her perfect work that ye may, that <clears throat> that ye may be perfect and an entire wanting nothing. OK, patience, man. A lot of people don't think before they speak, man. You just get out there and you utter it your whole dang mind like a fool. Just saying stuff. And you think it's cute. All right? A lot of you Israelites, man, you'll get on, you'll get on, you get in front of a camera and you think that the words that you're saying mean something and you really have no understanding of what you're talking about, man. All right? People's mouths don't need to be stopped because you have no patience, man. All right, verse 5. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of, of the Most High, that giveth to all men liberally, and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. Okay? For that word wavering means to have basically one foot in and one foot out. To be unsure, man. Not fully persuaded in your own mind. Okay? Double-minded, as it's, as it's going to go into. For he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and tossed. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. Why? Why should you receive anything, man? If you don't fully believe in the power and the might and the glory of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, why should he help you? Why should he even listen to your prayers? Verse 8. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Okay. You got guys out here right now, man, going hard in the paint, man, that may be out here in a camp. Or they may not be in a camp, but they are out here putting up uh, videos or, or, or proclaiming to, uh, to, to do the work in front of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai and in front of Israel, man. Okay? Out here saying stuff, but then messing up, man, behind the scenes. In their daily life, they just a nigga, man. Or they're telling you to do one thing and they're not doing it themselves. Or have been guilty thereof of the things that preach and still hasn't corrected or turned from the sin yet. Okay? You got a lot of these guys out there like that, man. And that's, I believe that's why this, the, uh, the Spirit jumped on me to, to, to put this epistle out. Okay? And, and, and most of you that may know me amongst Israel, you know how I get down. You know, I'm not one to really just go out and just and go hard against folks. But this has to be talked about, man. OK. Verse eight, a double minded man is unstable in all his ways, man. And we all know people like that from the world and from the truth, man. OK. And like I said before, man, these are a lot of these guys that are out there. That are just talking crap, man. Running their mouth for no freaking reason. And this is all written about, man. A foretime for our learning. People were doing this back in the ancient world. Scoffing against each other. When we got bigger fish to fry, man. We got more important things to worry about. Than just some random dude or ra random nigga on, on, on a comment board or on the internet talking crap, man. Okay? This is Titus. 1 and 10 for there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers especially they of the circumcision okay for those of us if you're new to this and you're coming into this faith the circumcision are talking about you so-called negroes latinos and native americans you israelites that are in the faith that keep the law statutes and commandments you are of the circumcision the uncircumcision are the people that don't do it. Okay, so now that we understand that, we're going to move on to verse 11. I'm going to read that. I'm going to read 10 again. For there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision, 
whose mouths must be stopped, who subvert whole houses. And that word subvert right there means to turn to turn against to 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 basically pervert. OK, whole houses teaching things which they ought not. All right. For filthy lucre's sake. A lot of you do that. OK, a lot of you will go and run around and be murmuring, man. Talking shit. Well, you should just be quiet. Okay? A lot of you are like that, man. You guilty. How about you work on yourself first, man? Before you fix your mouth to come out and point out what somebody else has got going on, man. Okay? Get some understanding first, man. Before you just run your mouth. It's just got to stop, man. And Jake is the number one culprit of all this stuff, man. Especially two-thirds of you, man. You always got something to say. When you should just be quiet. It's Isaiah chapter 29, 13. Wherefore the Lord said, For as, as much as this people draw near me with their mouth. Okay? Because, man, that's just the spirit, man. A lot of you like to just run your mouth and talk crap, bro. Straight up. And you get offended. You get mad. Because you can't take a rebuke or you can't take you can't take getting criticized, man. But then you go out and then you speak upon somebody else's situation, man. Knowing your whole situation, your whole backyard is messed up. There's a saying, man, you shouldn't throw stones when you got a glass house. Okay? And this message is for anybody that's getting cut, man. All right? It's just, it is what it is. It wasn't made for anybody in particular. But if it's for you, if the shoe fit, get a matching purse, man. Because the times that we're in are perilent, man. We're almost out of this thing. And you still got... You still got people running around and trying to have an opinion man fear the most high how about that Isaiah 29 and 13 wherefore the Lord said fear as much as or for as much as those people draw near me with their mouth and with their lips do honor me but have removed their heart far from me and their fear toward me is taught by the precept of men. Alright. A lot of y'all talk a good game. But y'all are wicked to the core man. A lot of y'all know a whole bunch of precepts. But you ain't keeping the law, statutes and commandments man. You just on, you just on, you on YouTube talking shit. Let's just be real about the whole matter. Verse 14, therefore, behold, I will proceed to a to do a marvelous work among the people, even a marvelous work and a wonder for the wisdom of their wise men shall perish and the understanding of their prudent men shall be hid. Woe unto them that seek deep to hide there. And, and this is the this is the spirit that this is coming out, man. OK, because a lot of you think that the most high can't see what you got popping, man. Just because brothers can't see you or you ain't you ain't you ain't put out you 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 hide stuff very good don't mean that the lord ain't going to expose you man okay cool you call him you claim you on your watch all right but what about what you got going on in secret okay are you truly living according to what the law statutes and commandments require or are you on some dumb stuff man are you doing some bs mm -hmm. You need to check yourself first, man. Get that beam out your own eye, the motor out your own eye first. Before you come talking stuff, man. Verse 15. Woe unto them that seek to, to that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord Yahweh. And their works are in the dark. And they say, Who seeth us and who knoweth us? Okay? The Lord is gonna recompense you, man. And it ain't gonna be sweet. All right. 
And I guess the point's basically been made, man. At the end of the day, we all fall. We all fall short. You know what I'm saying? While we're on this flesh and we're on this side, man. But you really need to consider and count the cost before you just hop out there on wax and say something, man. Okay? Some people say just be a good person. Somebody said just be a good person. But a good person don't always make, you know, uh, your your uh, just because you come home and you do this or you do that, you know, and you're not out there doing uh, this, that, and the third doesn't make you a good person, man. Okay? Well, hey, man. How about you count the, count the costs and you look at yourself first before you hop out there one time? Think of these things. And with that, I'm going to end. Before I get out of here, I'm going to say, Call Halal, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. Until next time, this is the brother of War Boss signing off, and I'm on to the next. Shalom.